Look, Renan's soldiers. Do the Renans control this city? I've never seen so many of them in one place before. No. Look at the cores on them. These people are all Danans. They're slaves. If they are, they're awfully well dressed. And they're smiling too. Something weird's going on here. Forgive the intrusion, but if I'm not mistaken, you're newcomers to Elda Menencia, yes? Please, you have no reason to be alarmed. My name is Drashen. I work at the Department for Welfare. Department for Welfare? We work to support the day-to-day -day living of all citizens. Welcoming newcomers to the realm is a part of our job, albeit one we rarely have the pleasure to perform. Let me guess. We get a free pair of shackles as a welcome gift. Perish the thought! Your trepidation is perfectly understandable, but I assure you, our way is quite different. <sighs> In the past, this realm was no different from any other, and run by a rather merciless ruler. But all of that changed once His Excellency, Lord Dohalim, assumed power seven years ago. Dohalim? Under him, for the first time in our lives, we Danans were treated with the respect we deserve. Lord Dohalim is adored by Danans throughout the realm, and we serve him with gladness. Am I hearing you right? The Danans here willingly serve a Renan Lord? Please, see for yourself. You're free to go anywhere you like. Just ask if you should need anything. What is it? Spit it out. It's just, we came here to free everyone. Uh-huh. But the Danans of this realm are all happy to serve Dohalim. Are there any walls that even need tearing down? Who cares? That just makes our path to Dohalim that much clearer. I guess, but... Still, Drashen said we should check things out for ourselves. Maybe we should look around a bit, see what we learn. Everyone is all smiles. I've never seen a city so lively before. So do any of you know anything about Lord Dohalim? I think I remember hearing something back in Cislodan about how he fights using a rod. A rod? I don't know the details, but from what I gather, he swings a long rod around and uses it to stab and smack people from afar. I think there's also something he does with, like, trees or grass or something? I forget. Grass? Bear in mind that Elda Menencia harvests Earth astral energy. It would be no surprise for him to have some sort of control over plants. So basically the point is we know nothing about the guy. Wish we weren't going in completely blind. Everyone walking the streets looks so calm and happy. I guess it really is true they don't treat Danans as slaves here. Did they actually somehow achieve equality here? And if they did, why? To what end? Something here doesn't feel right. Even though they sure want to act like it does. What is going through that Lord Dohalim's mind, I wonder? <sighs>
What's this thing? Maybe something's going on in the forest. <laughs> Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? <laughs> <laughs>
Shion, could we talk a moment? Shouldn't you be resting? I wanted to talk with you for a bit. I don't really want to talk right now. Right. I'll uh, stop bothering you then. I didn't say you were bothering me. Uh... Sorry. Don't take it personally. I'm just not used to being around other people, so I don't really know how to... chit-chat. Well, for a start, you let your guard down a little. Hey, here's a thought. What if you tell me about your childhood? What with my thorns and all, I didn't really have one. Not to speak of, anyway. Although, I guess I did have one friend. Who was it? A really old doll. Oh. When I was a little girl, the doll was the only thing I could touch and hold without worrying about my thorns hurting it. I would do things like dress it up or sit it on my lap when I was eating. The two of us were practically inseparable. Can I ask something? Is it about the fact that I played with dolls? No, it isn't. I only wanted to ask who gave you the doll in the first place. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Where is it now? I had to leave it behind when I left Lenegas. I didn't have a choice. Most likely it's long gone at this point. You go ahead and sleep. I'm going to grab another bite to eat first. Always good to be back in familiar territory. How's this? Yeah.
I still can't believe I'm seeing Danins and Renans getting along. You never know. It could all be an act on orders from the Renans. To what end? It would be an incredible amount of effort just to fool us. Let's check out more of the city. There's probably places we haven't seen yet. My dad's working in the quarry today. So is mine. I'm gonna help him when I grow up. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Looks like Danons are working in the quarry. Let's go check it out. Stay sharp. We're going in. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well today. Could I please take the day off? Oh, that's terrible. Uh, rest up and try not to strain yourself. I'll let the others know. Thank you. I appreciate it. But they seem so happy working here. And it seems like the soldiers are there to actually protect them rather than keep an eye on them. I don't get it. How can it be like this?
halt! I presume you're Alfin, of Orbis Calaglia? I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Menencia Guard. Just Kisara? No last name would make you a Danon. So it does. Is that a problem? The Guard. Wait, so you're saying the Lord of Elder Menencia has Danons protecting him? In this country, Danon Guardsmen aren't unusual. Everyone who enlists does so of their own free will. She sounds like she's serious, Alfin. That makes no sense. Don't your people remember seven years ago? Wouldn't you be grateful if you were finally allowed to live as a free person? And for my part, there is no greater honor than being chosen to serve His Excellency, Lord Dohalim. I feel no shame. <laughs> but all of that aside, I came seeking you, Alfin at Lord Dohalim's behest. He wishes an audience with you. W with us? Indeed. He awaits you at Ottolina Palace. That is, if you choose to accept. I am here only as a messenger, not a kidnapper. Your reply? All right. We'll meet your lord. Very well. I shall return and deliver your acceptance. Please don't keep him waiting too long. Before you go, what lies beyond this point? A quarry manned by Dan and laborers. Nothing else? There's a Dan and medical facility for the severely ill at the back. However, for sanitation reasons, it's kept off limits, even to guardsmen. That was odd. Why do you think this Doalim would want to see us? It's probably a trap. Still, they already know we're here. Not like we can start being stealthy now. We might as well listen to what he has to say. Hey, are you sure about going? What if it's a trap? That's no reason to back out now. Law's right. I get your concern, but we should buckle down. That Kisara woman. She sounded pretty smug about serving Dohalim, didn't she? She still has a Renin for a boss. How is that any different from being a slave? Renin society is a meritocracy. To us, it's seen as natural that those who sit at the top rule over the rest. It's the same old wall as the rest of Dana at the end of the day, just with a different coat of paint. I guess it can change people's attitudes if they can at least serve someone they respect. But they're still being deceived. It's obvious that's what's happening. On the one hand, her loyalty really did seem to be genuine. But on the other hand, Calaglia had its fair share of Danans who just accepted Ren and Rule because it was all they'd ever known. With that in mind, it can be hard to tell if her loyalty truly came about on its own, or if it's just the result of years of subjugation. Who knows? It might clear some things up if we hear what Doholim has to say. Yeah, you're right. Let's make our way to the palace. Don't sense any more enemies. I just don't get it. The Danans have endured years of suffering. How could they just turn around and trust the Renans all of a sudden? Yeah, I've been wondering the same thing. But I guess they must have a pretty good reason, right? Like what? What could erase 300 years of pain and suffering? Maybe it's precisely because they suffered for so long that they see Dohalim as something of a savior. Hey, whose side are you on here, Alfin? Relax, Rinwell. All I'm saying is that we shouldn't jump to assumptions about these people until we know more about the situation. Hmm. <laughs> I just don't get it.
I guess that towering structure at the center is the palace. You think it's dangerous to go inside? It's not a question of danger. We're going inside regardless. 